works. <laughs> I love how he was so quiet. Now all of a sudden the dog's like, what is going on? <laughs> he has things to say about the book. That's what I love how here. like this is the opening. You're like the dog growling at people. Yes, Max has lots to say. <laughs> He like, couldn't. He, he, he couldn't wait for this. That's what, what it was. There we go. Okay, I can see us on YouTube. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everyone. And this growling dog is Max. <laughs> he wanted to be picked up. Now he wants to be put down. The, the joys of being a dog mom. <laughs> just one. Just one of those days. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's so funny because he was so quiet all day. And then I want to say like an hour ago when I was posting the notifications about having the live stream tonight on Instagram, I was doing the live stories and he just came alive. He just got so hyper and I'm going, oh goodness, this is going to be an interesting live stream if he keeps this up. <laughs> so thank yes, you, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, so many comments already. Oh my goodness, yes. hi Susan, Jackie, Lady Gizmo, Vonnie. Oh, I love Mr. Richards. Vonnie's and they're, you guys are so cute. I'm like, I love how I know your names. I'm like, I feel like I know you know you. Uh, Kristen, Cassandra, oh my gosh, more, more keep popping up. This is so cool. Everyone yes. seems, oh, they seem to love the book. <laughs> I am it's always so, good. I was gonna say, I'm so excited. You guys know Ben, he joined me before. Mm -hmm. I am so, so happy and thankful and appreciative that he came back tonight oh. to talk about Death Over to You. <laughs> I was I'm, like, I'm, so, welcome. <laughs> I'm so honored to be back. So thank you so much for having me. Uh, I adore you. I was so happy when you said yes. I was like, oh, he said yes. I felt like a little kid, like, oh, like, oh, we're going to the carnival or something. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. All the comments. Oh, yes. You see? Yep. Everyone's happy. Um, it was so funny because my mom, she ended up watching the live stream the next day and she's like, he was a great co-host. You're going to invite him back? I'm like, oh. yes, I am. <laughs> we were talking about you. She's like, he was adorable. He was so sweet. I was like, I agree wholeheartedly. My heart. Thank you. <laughs> I, I told me I'm not going to cry, but uh, it's... <laughs> I guess I'm, I swear, because the club makes me like so happy. Like I do the happy tears. It's like the good tears. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's it. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. I was just like, I'm just excited. No, go ahead. You're fine. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's, yeah, it's like, it's like a group of friends. We're seeing each other again. So it's, it's, it's always exciting when we have uh, these live streams. So just to see everyone. Yeah. I mean, we're not seeing them, but you know, like chatting with everyone. And, I know it's yeah. so different because again, I was posting the Instagram stories and I always try and respond to every comment and Insta on whether it's Twitter, or Instagram, but there's always the delay. And sometimes with Instagram, I mean, they change their algorithm. I don't know why they keep doing this. Well, yeah. You're like, oh, three days later, I see your comment. <laughs> I'm so yeah. sorry. But I love that it's like in the moment, you get the actual you know, response. There's no delay with it all. I mean, plus we're talking about, there's so much to talk about with this mm -hmm. book. I, oh, I can't oh. wait to hear your thoughts mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. read yes. the comments. <laughs> I honestly, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, where, where do we start? <laughs> I mean, I was I was so engrossed in this book. I was this book is so detailed. I mean, mm -hmm. I just I felt like I was in her world. <laughs> no, no, so, you, you yeah, you were you were there. You were living every day of her life and it's like, yeah. <laughs> oh. I mean, I love that. I mean, there's a kind of a I posted this on Twitter. I was going to see if the comments came up. Everyone seemed to really love the book for the most part. Uh, so 50% gave it four stars, 35% gave it five stars, and then only 15% gave it three stars. So most of them, most people seem to really like this book. So yeah, which which I mean, three stars, that's good. It's you know, yeah. it's it's not it's not bad. Yeah. I was like, I'll, I, if I was an author, I'd be like, hey, I'll take it. <laughs> you still liked it. <laughs> so I mean, so I I mean, I guess we have to start off talking about Carrie. I mean, mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. see her, we have our librarian who's a drifter. She she calls herself, you know, she's got that wanderlust feeling. And so it was so cute because she starts the book off on one note and it's like complete 180 by the end, totally mm -hmm. different person. Mm -hmm. And so she finds her home. She, you know, takes on the job at the library as the planner. But I thought this was so funny when she goes to take the job or she's being interviewed for the first time, who appears but a ghost? Because naturally, when you're doing a job interview, <laughs> a ghost mm -hmm. is going to appear and tell you to take the job. Mm -hmm. So that's where we start. I mean, Evelyn was right there. She's going to be along Carrie's side. So mm -hmm. I, I guess we start with Carrie and Evelyn. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it was a gr that's a great start. Yeah, it's a, a introduction to Evelyn as a person, and so you kind of you see you see Carrie grow throughout the book, and then 
I, I mean, I feel like Evelyn grew a little bit too. You know, she, I mean, she's a ghost, so it's, it's kind of final, but. <laughs> She uh, was so cute. I mean, she was kind of, yeah. it was so funny because she was kind of that sounding board. She kind of reminded me of how people are talking about sleuthing duos and how the main sleuther has to have their sounding board for when they have their theories. And I mm. thought that's exactly what Evelyn did. She was almost like the silent sleuther partner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She would just kind of pop in and then like give her a little feedback and then kind of pop back out. Yeah, when she needed her. So, yeah, it. I was gonna say she helped her with paperwork. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're a ghost, and, and you're and you're helping someone paperwork. Like it's. <laughs> I, I mean, this is a very random reference. So hopefully, you guys who read the book like remember this. But we have Dorothy, who is kind of she's she's not really antagonist, but she's very mm. grouchy, grumpy. Mm -hmm. She's very unhappy that Carrie came in and got the job over her as the mm. party planner, the event planner at the library. So Dorothy has a major chip on her shoulder. Starts mm -hmm. sabotaging her. So she's not really friends with the main person in charge, Sally, but she convinces Sally to to give Carrie all this paperwork with the receipts and everything else. And apparently Dorothy can't do the paperwork and it took Sally forever to do it. And they give it to Carrie and she's like, what do I do with this? And Evelyn goes, I'll help you. Cause naturally a ghost tutor is the next step. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. And nat naturally that's that's where it goes. <laughs> yeah, I, exactly. I mean, I was so I was so perplexed by that. I'm going, of course she's gonna tutor her with how to do paperwork. Like that's her afterlife, <laughs> doing the receipt returns. It's it's a <laughs> oh yeah. I want to love that. I mean, I don't think I've ever read that any like, for any other ghost story ever. A ghost mm. doing paperwork. <laughs> yeah, who who <laughs> who, who, yeah, who wants to do paperwork in your afterlife? Like, that sounds terrible. Like, the last thing I would want to do is do paperwork. That sounds like one of Dante's layers. You're like, what is going on here? The levels? <laughs> if I was Evelyn, I would have been like, sorry, like, peace. Like, I gotta go. I mean, so. the other thing I loved about Evelyn, this was one of my other favorite moments. And again, this was just so random. Carrie ends up looking for papers for a murder victim. She apparently kept a secret diary, but it was actually loose leaf papers. Mm -hmm. And Evelyn knows where these papers are hidden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she yeah. knows, but she lets Carrie go through three different desks and then go back and start taking the desks apart. And then mm -hmm. on the very last one, she's like, oh, maybe check back there after Carrie's been doing this for a while. And I'm going, you knew this whole time. You didn't tell her. <laughs> she's, she's like, you have to work for that. <laughs> I, I was very confused by that. She's like sitting there on one of the desks, she's watching Carrie. I just, you know, she's just like, yeah, just sipping coffee or something, just watching her. Like, oh. <laughs> uh. I mean, if you're going to haunt someplace, I mean, I, I guess that's her own entertainment. We were talking before off camera saying, you know, she's haunting the library. I mean, she has to have some form of entertainment. I guess <laughs> Carrie is it. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Evelyn. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. The least spooky of the. <laughs> of ghost story she's a very cozy ghost yeah i mean as far as ghosts go she wasn't exactly a ghoul she wasn't trying mm -hmm. to like pop out even what was it even when she just kind of appeared to say hello and carrie jumped she was just being like warm and friendly the one yeah. time she scared her was an accident <laughs> exactly yeah does, oh. does evelyn do taxes too right <laughs> And I mean, she's the tutor too. Like you don't pay a ghost. I mean, usually you have to pay your tutors, mm -hmm. uh, you know, free help. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so cute. You guys. Yes. we The outfit changes. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I was Carrie, she took the ghost thing really well. I would want to know how she's changing her clothes, how she's changing her earrings. I mean, the hairstyles. What? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, so, so many questions. Like, yeah. How do you, do you just, do you just think about it and it just pops on or like you just, you wake up and you're like, oh, oh. random, random out for, for the day. I mean, she, how do you have a ghost closet? How does this work? <laughs> yeah. she, she just opens, opens and then just kind of pick which one you want. <laughs> I mean, uh, the dog, he like did a little rough. Like, I agree with you. Again, like he all of a sudden like wants to be this active, you know, hyper little thing. But I mean, the change of outfits killed me. And I also, so this is one of, I was like, I have a note here. I don't know where I put it, but I I honestly am waiting for the story where we find out about Evelyn. I mean, falling on black ice 
and not being found until the next day seems yeah. very suspicious. Yeah, she was there for a whole night. Like no one no one questioned like she didn't go home. Like it's she was there. That's just so sad. Like so the the, the theory was that she was Evelyn was the last person in the library. She was closing up for the night. And the theory is as she's walking to her car, she slips on black ice and hits her head and dies instantly. And then they find the body the next day when the coworkers are going to the library to do their jobs. And I think that is so suspicious. The black mm -hmm. ice. I mean, we're, we're going to have a slew thing, thing happen <laughs> in the future with this. We have to. I mean, I, I, I need this story. This was the thing about this book. And I don't know if this was brilliant or annoying as a reader because she get, she left you with lingering questions and you're going, oh man, I need to read, I need to know more. And so it's kind of incomplete, but you also want to read the next book. So for a reader, you're like, oh, this is great. Oh, but I need to know now. So kind of two-sided with that. Yeah, yeah, there are a bunch of questions. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Oh, oh my God. Oh, all the comments. <laughs> Okay, yes, someone else thought it was suspicious. Okay, so I am not done with the second book. I'm about 75, 80% done. And it's the Christmas book. And no, that is not the next story. The next story involves her father and missing gems. So I don't know when Evelyn's story pops up. I also know I don't, this might come up in book three because I don't want to give you super spoilers. Maybe at the end I'll tell you, but the victim in book three, we know her already. Um, but you might be able to figure out like who's expendable right now at this library. Who can we, who can we chop off? Yeah. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Like who can we get rid of that people won't really miss? Oh. You can figure that out relatively quickly with that little. <laughs> um, so yeah, I might oh. get a little bit more in the third book, but right now it's not the second. Oh. Only, Do <laughs> only Dorothy loved Evelyn. Do I mean, Dorothy. Okay. What do we think about Dorothy? We gotta, what did you think uh. about Dorothy? Okay, I I was mad at her at first. She was she was pulling all these stunts with you know with Carrie hiding you know the movie and then the car, but it escalated really quickly to breaking her car window. So yeah, <laughs> I I felt like that was a really far jump. Like hiding things is one thing, like but like smashing someone's window was a total a total jump. So yeah. I love the I love the little note when. Carrie eventually confronts Dorothy and Dorothy reimburses her for the damage done to the car. And the note just says here, <laughs> it doesn't say anything else. It doesn't say I'm sorry or, you know, from Dorothy. It's just literally mm -hmm. one word here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know if, you know, her hand was hurting her and she couldn't write anymore, but I found that so interesting. Probably, probably. she was, she fought the whole time writing that check. She's like, like, <laughs> It's one of those where it presses down at the next page because you're just so angry it's going through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I couldn't believe, though, that she, I mean, even just sabotaging the library because it wasn't just Carrie she was hurting. The car window was just Carrie, but hiding the yeah. DVD, I think they said they had almost a full room, like 20 different people waiting for this movie. We also don't find out which movie, which I was really curious about, but she yeah. hid the DVD. <laughs> And so you got the 20 people at the library waiting for this event. I'm going, that didn't really hurt Carrie. That hurt the people and the library. Yeah, that, that made you guys look a little, yeah, a little, a little less messy. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, Carrie. I was like, yep. So the Evelyn comments. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was so, so adorable, though, that Evelyn really does feel like she's you know, got this connection with Carrie. And she did tell Carrie about Dorothy. So we do get a little bit of backstory, but it seems like Dorothy has always been sort of upset and angry. And mm -hmm. I thought it was kind of interesting how, you know, I mean, even just Dorothy, <laughs> Carrie's going, yeah, I'm talking to your dead aunt. And she told me all this stuff about you. And Dorothy <laughs> just accepted again that Carrie's mm -hmm. talking to her deceased aunt. <laughs> I mean, are ghosts normal for people? Because I would be, you know, again, I mentioned this before, like getting a, you know, brain scan, like is something wrong? <laughs> yeah, everyone, everyone pretty much accepted. They're like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's uh... a, <laughs> yeah, there's no pause. There was no pause for her either. She was like, oh, you're talking to my dead aunt? Okay. Uh... <laughs> I, yeah, Dorothy also accepted it. I was waiting for Dorothy to need more convincing. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I mean, because Carrie accepted it relatively easily, but again, at least she was seeing Evelyn. I, I mean, Again, I would still think I'm crazy and I would take more than you know, a page or two to accept it. But mm -hmm. Dorothy, again, didn't really, she was like, she was, I'm okay, okay, only Evelyn knew these things, therefore you're talking to Evelyn. She really accepted that so quickly. 
I don't know if anyone else was surprised by that, but that just really struck me. Yeah, no, it, it took her like most of the book to be like okay with her being the event planner. So it's like, oh. Uh. <laughs> You're waiting for December to read the next book. I it's uh, yeah, the next book is Christmas themed. It's interesting. I again, I'm seventy percent in. I'm invested. <laughs> I, I I had the I'm I'm probably gonna finish it tonight. I'm invested. And again, you know, then book three and four are gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Um, so the the that's on my to be read list. <laughs> but yeah, so Dorothy. I mean, I, I don't know if you guys. This is the thing, right? When you have book blurbs and you read the book blurb for like book five, and you're going shouldn't have read that because you just spoiled book two so i'm not going to tell you guys what i've learned about dorothy thus far but i thought it was really interesting how her and sally it appeared like they were friends but then she is blackmailing sally mm, mm, and mm -hmm. we'll find out what the blackmail is but we find out that there is blackmail involved so yeah that's another question yeah what was she holding over her this whole time like mm. <laughs> <laughs> You thought Evelyn was a bit sketchy. Okay, what is it about Evelyn that's sketchy? <laughs> I not like that. agrees with you. <laughs> okay, yes, you would have been more skeptical. Thank you. I appreciate that. Because I thought I, they really did take it so well. There's just a ghost hanging around. And even the day when Dorothy goes, have you seen my aunt? Tell her hi. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, what was up with that? I, oh. I mean, every every character in this book, I mean, I, I, again, there's so much to unpack with this, right? So our victim, Lara, it's a cold case. So we have Al, who's the former detective who botched the investigation the first time around. He's giving a speech at the library, and every single person involved in this case is just I mean, I almost call them like wackadoo. Like, there's just so much going on. There's like so many people, <laughs> so many crazies. There is, there um, is, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Max dies soon. What? What? Uh, okay, I'm gonna. I don't know what's going on with that, so I'm just gonna ignore that. I mean, <laughs> go back. Ignore that. Just ignore that. Just ignore that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. Anywho, so the in all the characters, there's just so much, um, so much going on with them. I mean, honest to goodness, like every single one of the people involved was a possible, you know, suspect. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it was just. I, I mean, did, did you know what was going on? Like, were you able to predict early on who the killer was or what the mystery was? No, no. I, I was caught off guard. <laughs> like, till the, oh, till the moment we realized, I was like, oh, okay. Because <laughs> yeah. I had, you had a question. Like, you're like, there's so many possible ways this could go. Like, could it be, you know... Hey, hey, hey. He's hiding a treat. <laughs> Once you know he's hiding the treat. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, there we go. He's got his bone. He's happy. I, I don't know what that was, but hopefully he'll oh, settle down. He has a lot to say about this book. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, so every single person is a suspect because mm -hmm. Al, he has his theory, but he doesn't have proof. So he's hoping people during the conversation is going to give him proof of some sort as to what actually happened. He thinks he knows. He thinks he's figured it out. But he's hoping that this, <laughs> this sort of, con you know, I was going to say open forum where you ask. No, people. yeah. He's like, yeah, you it was proof. <laughs> it was kind of like that. He was just like, so does anyone have any ideas? Like, as he's eating his cookies, like. <laughs> I mean, he's that was the other thing, too. He's up there eating four cookies right before his talk. And it's the fourth cookie that did him in. <laughs> okay. I have questions about that cookie, though. Like, how it was different than all the other cookies. And. I don't know. It just it just seemed odd. Like in in like very like like how did it did someone just slip it there? Just like slip it in his plate? Like I, I, I wanna know first of all how you knew it was gonna be cookies that she brought in. Like how did you know it wasn't gonna be brownies? I mean, mm -hmm, I, I'm mm -hmm. kind of curious about that one. How did you know it was gonna be cookies? I mean, because it was a different cookie, so you knew it was brought from from you know we'll, we'll talk about you know spoilers in a second yeah, uh, a yeah. little bit later i don't want to re reveal the murder too soon but you know you bring the cookie with you <laughs> in a little you know ziploc bag or something <laughs> i don't know how you smuggle this cookie in <laughs> but and, you, you got a different cookie <laughs> maybe 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 they had a brownie uh pastries like just in case <laughs> like they were just prepared like they're like well it might be any of these food like a sandwich maybe too like it could be anything <laughs> 
I'm so curious. I mean, how did you know it was a cookie? I mean, <laughs> again, once you find out who the killer is, maybe it was in a purse. Like, what is the bat? Like, how did you smuggle this stuff in? <laughs> I, I, I have so many questions. But yeah, we have a cold case. And again, I just saw someone else mention how they they like that it was a cold case. I think I'm, I, I don't know where the comment went because things move quickly. But yeah, I thought it was so interesting because usually you got someone freshly <laughs> murdered mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. right off the bat. And I thought it was so interesting that you didn't really have the victim on, you know, page one or two. There was no, you know, confrontation with the main character. And mm -hmm. the fact that it was a cold case and she was new in town, but yet she was still invested in it. That was a very fine line to balance. But I think I think Alison Burke did it. She did. She did it. It, it worked really well. And I feel like, yeah, it's uh, solved. Like there's two murders. Yeah. So if you have twice the fun to solve. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was it was the cold case that it was only the cold case that could prove the modern day current murder. Mm -hmm. And so I thought that was just really an interesting tie in. I don't think I've seen something quite like that before. I mean, usually yeah. <laughs> when it comes to the Hallmark movies and mysteries, <laughs> you know, someone again, there might be, you know, something pop up. But this was definitely unique with this premise for me, at least. No, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. You just you have a, a confrontation, someone's angry, and then mysteriously in the night, someone dies. <laughs> I mean, you also take a risk putting that poison cookie on his plate in a room full of people. I mean... Someone could have someone snatched it. Someone else could have ate it. Like, that could have happened. What if you eat four cookies? Because four cookies to me is a lot of cookies to eat right before you give a talk. May, may, maybe they're small. Maybe they're like little snack cookies. Oh, like the little itty-bitty ones? Yeah, that, that's what I was going to think. But still, like knowing the cookies, like I, I, I still swear that they probably had several poison food, <laughs> and just in case they're like, oh, okay, gotta put this. <laughs> I mean, I was also very impressed with Carrie for knowing that. Oh, I didn't get that type of cookie. I mean, <laughs> if I was in charge of an event, and again, I've done events and stuff in the past, I'm not gonna be like, oh, this person's eating a cookie. I'm gonna be like, oh, is everyone having a good time? Is everyone sitting down? Like she noticed a very specific detail, and I just sort of went with it. <laughs> she, she sensed it. She's like, oh, this, this does not belong here. Like this cookie. Like something is going to happen. I don't know what, but something. I mean, she's already seen a ghost, so naturally. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how cute was it that her little cousin sees a ghost, sees her also? Like that was so adorable. I adorable. love the little cousin. So this is one of my favorite parts. I mean, I don't know if I know that this is a pen name. I don't know if Allison Burke has kids, but I love the little four-year-old going. I want to feed Evelyn with the cookies. I think she's hungry. Oh. Why won't you take my cookies? my heart mm -hmm. <laughs> it was melting so sweet so sweet like it's yeah i just I, I, we we still need to find out more about how she's able to see the ghost but i just thought it was really cute that the one other kind of mediator person is a four-year-old who doesn't understand the concept of ghosts so the mm -hmm. mother who just thinks she's making up a friend <laughs> a for the friend. library <laughs> like an old lady friend <laughs> <laughs> just this old lady at the library <laughs> I mean, again, we don't really know what she's telling the four-year-old. I mean, unless sure. she's like pointing out books, like giving her a tour of the library. I mean, mm. again, you're haunting a library. <laughs> I don't know what your afterlife is, aside from doing taxes. Yeah, um, yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> Exciting stuff. <laughs> I mean, the four-year-old has no concept of anything. I just thought that was so cute, though. She's like, why won't you take my cookies? Mm. Yeah, it was like, really I sweet. It's like, I just want to keep you. Um, you know that there's one of those, uh, depends on how you want to say it, GIF or GIF with uh, Jared Padalecki from Supernatural. It's like, you're too precious for this world. Like, that's what I was thinking the whole time with this character. Like, she's just so precious. So precious. Oh, yeah. Okay. We got to talk about Jared. <laughs> oh, so, oh, yeah. Yeah, we have the family. I, at one point in my little notebook, I was drawing <laughs> the family dynamics because I was also trying oh. to figure out how they were sitting at the dinner table at one of the plot points. But we have the family. <laughs> so oh. we have the oldest son, Ryan, and then we have the second son. Again, there's two of them. <laughs> we have Jared, who is mm -hmm. our first love interest, shall we say. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what did you think about Jared? I think I felt he was a little... Not naive, but uh, okay. I don't want to do too spoiler, but yeah, there were certain things he did. I just kind of uh, irked me a little bit. I don't know. 
Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I was going to say, I, I for when we started off with Jared, I'm kind of going, okay, you know, he's nice to Al, he, our mm -hmm. first murder victim there, you know, the one giving mm -hmm. the speaking to the detective. He liked him. He showed up. He wanted to investigate. Like, I was kind of on board for Jared with the, for a little while. I was on board yeah. with him. Well, I think, yeah. I was like, he didn't lose me until, he, he didn't lose me until <laughs> literally there was one moment where I was like, okay. <laughs> No, yeah, same, same. Yeah, I was like, we're, I was like, please walk away, Carrie. Don't, don't talk to him anymore. Like, please. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was going okay. We're, we're done with you. <laughs> like, but just, uh, no, but he, he helps her move. I mean, I know she didn't have a whole lot of stuff to move, but he still helped her move. Helped her bought groceries. Yeah. Like, they went on some cute like meetings. I mean, dates, but meetings. You know, like it was really sweet. Yeah. I mean, one of my. This is just a random, <laughs> random comment. So their first friend date i don't even know how you want to call it if they're seeing <laughs> each other or not i don't think carrie knows how to define that relationship therefore i don't yeah. know how to define the relationship yeah. but <laughs> they were talking about he's like oh yeah and the way that this is situated you the, the acoustics are so cool and you can't hear people at the other table i was waiting for this to pop up later on in the book like okay the big reveal they're gonna say you know oh they didn't hear me because of this we never find out about that restaurant and the acoustics again i'm going no, no. I, I have questions <laughs> Well, <laughs> you did have a, another scene, I guess, like in a public space where people could hear what was going on. So I thought that was interesting, too. But yeah, it uh, <laughs> it was a really weird comment to make. I don't know. I mean, yeah. he he was cute for most of the stuff. I mean, but I just thought it was like, this is your dinner date conversation time with acoustics. And again, I'm thinking that this is going to be relevant later on since it wasn't. I think it just meant to show how awkward he is. <laughs> Yeah, and maybe yeah, maybe a little naive. Like it just, uh, I mean, yes, this is someone who's helping you try to figure out who killed your mom, and it's just kind of I don't know, trying to make a ro romantic thing out of it is a little. Uh. You guys are not Jared fans. <laughs> oh my goodness, at least comments. I'm this too. <laughs> All of a sudden, I just saw it. I'm going okay, <laughs> okay. Like that's a like one word. Definitely, you're like I'm done. Nope, done. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so. I I'm like I'm trying to figure out if you want spoilers with this, but again, we know he does not end up with Carrie. And at the beginning of the book, book two, do you want to know who he's dating? Do you guys want to yes, know? Yes, please let us know. He's dating Ryan's girlfriend, Jillian, the one who, yeah, he ends up like at the beginning of that book. I don't know if they end up together, but at the beginning of book two, literally the second page, we find out that they're together. And I'm going. I, I like Jillian. I like Jillian as a character. She's really, yeah. They end up on a date. Oh, shush. <laughs> yeah, I think that they have one of those awkward family dinners. And Ryan, mm -hmm. what was that story? He's like, yeah, the owners, one of the daughters, you know, she was murdered. And they ended up finding the body and going, what kind of dinner, dinner conversation is this? When he's already late to the dinner, too. Like, oh, it was just so awkward. Ugh. Yeah, that's what you open with. <laughs> You don't even apologize. You just start going, yeah, let's tell this really horrific story. I, I forget which dinner it was, but Carrie also said, Ryan's attractive when he's not like angry or something like that. And I was all, ooh, like, <laughs> she had that comment too. <laughs> Again, with the little guy, you guys are going to realize I totally do that thing where that was that video one time or commercial where you see the person doing like the infer like the interview from the, you know, <laughs> waist oh. up. Yeah, I'm wearing pajama bottoms. I am. Yes, staying cozy. Oh, yeah, I was cool. I was almost going to be a goth. I have my hair like pink and spikes. <laughs> I mean, oh. I thought, it was, okay, so again, I, it's weird because my name's Angela, obviously, but the other Angela <laughs> in the book, she dressed up as Carrie for Halloween as a goth, and I thought it was really cute that Carrie took it, you know, in good strides because I would have been going, are you making fun of me? Are you sassing me? What's going on over there? But yeah, she dressed up as a goth. I think I think she took a good, I mean, she had me, I read this book twice, so the first time around, I was a little sad that she changed her own style, but reading it now, like she had me in a comment. She was like, I was just doing this for fun. Like it wasn't like a part of her own identity. So it was, it, I think she was like, oh, that's cute. Like, <laughs> I love how you guys, I love the comments. <laughs> you guys are so great. Jared was too helpful. I fall into the <laughs> trap myself when I attempt to date. Yeah, it was almost like he was trying too hard to be the good guy. He, he definitely did snap a few times. I think that he did have that attitude. And then we find out he was in a psychiatric facility. <laughs> That's exactly what you want to find out three nights in. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> oh. Um, yeah, I have to admit, I don't understand exactly why Carrie was thought he was totally just inept with identifying people. I mean, they're all sitting around with a murderer. Like, they're technically all, mm -hmm. you know, not able to see what's in front of them. Yeah. So I was yeah. going to cut Jared a little bit of slack, just not noticing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Jared reminded me of the Hallmark boyfriend, <laughs> the, the, the man the girl dates until she finds the good guy to be with. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly nail on the head. That's a perfect way to say it. Yeah, I mean, he was so cute. And then all of a sudden, it was just kind of, eh, I'm done with you. Um, I mean, <laughs> what was your moment? We might as well talk about when was your oh, moment. Okay. Um, when he told the family what they were finding out at the dinner table. Was I was mine. like, I was like, why are you saying? Like, she specifically told him not to say anything. Like, not to say anything. And he just like, oh, hey, guys. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yep. That was my exact moment. Oh my gosh, same page. That was my exact <laughs> moment. I was like, oh my God. Because uh, again, she to him, he's even suspecting people. He's going, you know, what's up with Helena? What's up with this? What's over there? Like he had question marks, but he still just wanted to be like, I have something important to say. And it was one of those, he's puffing his chest. Mm -hmm, and she, mm -hmm. you could just feel Carrie going, oh, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> you could just feel that. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sure she gave him a look like, oh, what the heck? Like, come on, come on, Jared. Like I know oh. he was trying. He was probably like he. He's always trying to hold the family together. So maybe he thought like, I'm I'm helping by. But no, like that was not the time. No. No, I mean that was that was the exact moment when I was going. <laughs> oh my goodness! You're trying to figure out who the murderer is, and you just gave away a pivotal piece of information. Mm -hmm. I mean, the one good thing, though, was that the papers were hidden in the library. And so at least he opened his big fat mouth, but nobody could find those papers beforehand. Nobody could sneak yeah, into the yeah. library. Nobody could get them. I mean, they were hidden. So that was the one good thing of, OK, they were well hidden. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I mean, Helena, if, I mean, she's going to go searching for them, obviously. And yeah, yeah. that also red flag. She's going, OK, I got to <laughs> go go worry about Carrie now. So he put her in danger. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah. She she put like a big old X on her, like a mark. Like it it's just yeah. Uh yeah, that moment I was like, okay, let's 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 focus on Dylan now. Let's uh let's forget Jared. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so what do you guys think of Dylan? Oh, <laughs> like the little face you're like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great, great choice for, for Carrie. <laughs> oh. I okay, so he might be the best landlord in the history of landlords to ever yes. exist, fictional mm -hmm. or real. This guy is unbelievable. So Carrie had been living with her aunt and uncle who were adorable. And I love mm -hmm. them so much. Mm -hmm. Just throwing that out there as a comment. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> we can talk about that more in a second. <laughs> but she's living with them. She decides she wants to find a place of her own and rent. And he's advertised a cottage. And this cottage is on private property near a lake. And it has multiple rooms because there's a guest room, and mm -hmm. then yeah, yeah. there's a maid, and then there's there's the ma then you have the guy who's like, yeah, I will fix everything. The caretaker, and mm -hmm. I'm going. You have a caretaker, you have a maid, you have this like beautiful cottage near the lake for eight hundred dollars a month. Because originally, originally, yeah, they had she haggled it down too. It was uh, what, it was a thousand two hundred, right? At yeah, she went twelve hundred at first. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, it was, I, I could, my mind, I just, I, I was so baffled, mind boggling. I was just, oh my goodness. Cause he kept saying how the, I was waiting for this. The cottage was important to him. We still mm -hmm. don't know why. Yeah, I, yeah. I, again, questions like the reader in me is going, okay, I got to read the next book in the series. The next book in the series got to find out why this is important, but we don't know why it's important, but $800 a month. What? If that's a, a steal. Uh, still, and like the best thing is, he's never hardly he's hardly there. Uh. <laughs> he, but I, um, again, like I don't even know where to, how to process this. So it's a huge, it's a huge cottage because mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. it's fully furnished with beautiful furnishings. It has has the microwave. It has all the you know. It has all all the all, new all new appliances. All new appliances. Uh, yeah, you have you have a maid that comes in once a week. Like it's. I'm. Uh, what? <laughs> Even the maid. Okay, this is what I realized too, because I was starting to make notes trying to figure out. Because the salary for the maid and caretaker, her eight hundred dollars doesn't even covering their salaries. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's basically living there for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, 
I mean, I would marry him on the spot just for that. Like, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> like, that is amazing. <laughs> uh, it seemed like the cutest little place. Like, oh, uh, yeah. It seemed more like a house than a cottage. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we got to talk about Uncle Bosco. Like, we have to talk about him and Harriet. But yeah, no, I just that cottage thing like that was the introduction i'm going oh my goodness like you were the cutest sweetest most generous human being in the world like i'm mm -hmm. already on your side i mean again i'm like you can do no wrong i don't know what's your story but you're fine <laughs> <laughs> you're totally fine <laughs> yeah, it was oh. so difficult for me so we don't really know at this point except the landlord thing it just sounds like a dream yeah she, she doesn't really she didn't think something was off i mean here's somebody who's moved around supposedly you think she would have encountered more landlords than that to know, yeah. hey, this is really like a good deal. <laughs> I mean, maybe because again, like I've lived in the city and moved to, to a couple different apartments. So I'm going, okay, this is amazing. But yeah, Dylan had a crush on Carrie. That's a good point too. Mm -hmm. We end up, we do find out later on that they were childhood friends or acquaintances because he was friends with her brother. Again, yeah. I think there is a mystery there. <laughs> mm -hmm. There is, there is definitely a mystery there. Mm -hmm. I, again, with this whole, the reader in me is going, I don't know at the end of the book. I don't know about Evelyn. I don't know about the older brother. I have so many questions about Dylan and his yeah. background. And like, there's so many things left unanswered, but at the same time, this was a complete novel. So I was fine. Mm -hmm. But but at the same, but the other flip side of me is going, I need more information. So I don't oh, know how yeah. to process that. I need, I need to, I want to find out about her, about Carrie's parents. Like what's up with them, that relationship. Like it's, yeah, there's questions. There is so much, I mean, talk about setting up a series, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I think that, you know, everyone seems to really love this book, so I don't mind saying this, but I feel like this is kind of a how to set up a series. Like this is a perfect mm -hmm. example. So if you're teaching a Cozy Mystery Course, you're going, okay, this is how you set up a series and introduce characters. <laughs> they do kiss. Okay, they have one of the most awkward kisses. <laughs> Would you like to talk about this awkward kiss? Cause you're smiling like this was hysterical. <laughs> No, please, please, Carrie. <laughs> Carrie's oh. exhausted. She's yawning as he's going in for the kiss. So she's mm -hmm. yawning. He's going in for kiss. It's it's just, I mean, what? I don't even know what the word would be. It was just so what, awkward. What would you do in that situation? She's yawning. Like I mean, mm -hmm. talk about timing. He's had so many opportunities to kiss her and mm -hmm. make a move, and that's mm -hmm. when he makes the move. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> You didn't get any weird vibes from Dylan. Yeah, you will find out about the parents. You read the entire series. Ooh. 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 What was... <laughs> um, I hope we see more Dylan and find out what his deal is. The yawn. Mm. <laughs> it was just... <sighs> really? But but also, it's effective. We we remember this kiss. Like, <laughs> I'm never going to forget this kiss. This might be I mean, I don't have a most awkward encounters list for kissing, but I feel like no. I need to make one now, and this is going to yeah. be on the top ten list. <laughs> I mean, talk about, I mean, the meat cute was off because he's on the phone. He's really kind of rude. You can tell mm -hmm. he's had one of those rough days, like, okay, what do you want sort of thing. <laughs> and then the kiss. I mean, they're really cute together, but they're also super awkward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and she's also kind of dating some other dude, too, so I don't know how he would feel also. Like, it's, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what is up with the relationship between Carrie and Jared? I know we were talking about this before and sort of got diverted, but she's trying to make it very clear that they're friends, but he's inviting her to family dinners as if they're a couple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he kisses her, but then and, and he, and he holds her hand, but she's only saying they're just friends. I mean, I don't kiss my, I mean, I don't, you know, kiss on the lips with friends. I mean, I don't know how, mm -hmm, no. it, like with your I life. Mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're not having these like, fancy kind of dates and then not yeah inviting to family things too is like a pretty big step for any relationship and for like mm -hmm. a casual kind of friend thing like i would probably be like no like you don't need to come like it's it's okay like i mean you get pr i mean you're privy to some very private information too i mean you get to mm -hmm. see it like the you know the intricate dynamics of this family group i mean you get some, I mean, I know they're trying to solve the mother's murder, which is personal unto itself, but you yeah. really get to witness that firsthand, which is kind of different. It's one thing to hear about Ryan and, you know, hear about the dad dating Helena or something, but to actually mm -hmm. witness it is totally mm -hmm. different. Yeah, you have front row seats and you're just like, oh, I'm not really dating this person <laughs> as you're eating your meal. <laughs> oh. And even then, too, he hands, 
he holds the fork up to you know yeah. <laughs> I would <laughs> She could just been like, hey, but just put it on my plate. It's fine. Like, it's. <laughs> I mean, he picks up the check on the first, you know, the first time around. And mm -hmm. he's definitely, he definitely thinks they're in a relationship. I mean, yeah, he, yeah. he thinks that they're, you know, couple material. And she's just, we're just friends. But <laughs> I mean, also going to the dad's girlfriend's housewarming. Again, mm -hmm. this isn't just one family dinner where she's just the emotional support. There's two family dinners hanging and out. That like yeah hanging out with uh his uncle too she went there she uh yeah she went to the housewarming too yeah she's she's yeah. been everywhere yeah. i mean he's introducing her to his you know his inner circle <laughs> and he hasn't he hasn't met any of her inner circle really yeah there no was... i mean not really not really she, yeah i'm i'm trying to i mean dylan he got to go to thanksgiving mm -hmm. yeah so jared didn't even go to thanksgiving I was going to say, he might have known the, I think they, he knew the aunt and uncle because they lived in the same town, but it wasn't as if she invited him over for family dinner one evening. I thought yeah. that was interesting. But I saw the comment with Kim P here. This might be my, I love this. Let's have dinner with the family of my, like maybe killers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not just one, like two. <laughs> I mean, technically, we don't know. The dad's a suspect. Helen is a suspect. She the older brother. Yeah, yeah. He got three suspects. And then you also don't know what's going on with, you know, Ken and George at one point. So. Yeah, yeah. You got a table of question marks. <laughs> <laughs> and also, can we just point out that they're going to dinner and he was poisoned with a cookie? I'd be very scared to eat the food with these people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I would not leave my plate unguarded. I would watch my plate the whole time. You got to go to the bathroom. Just take that plate with you. Like, don't don't leave it on the table. <laughs> well, yeah, they're, they're uh, feeding her. Like, they're like, no, no, no. You can't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> the lawyer, he was so cute. I thought he was really sweet. Yeah. I thought he was adorable. And I thought it was interesting how you had him, we got to kind of see him in his home. And then he's also friendly with Dylan because he's his client. So you got to see the office too. I felt like we got to know Ken a little bit. I mean, yeah. he yeah. was adorable. I was with Angela. I love how I'm like, I'm with Angela. Um, I was waiting. Are we going to, are we going to start talking about a little bit of spoilers here with the killer? Let's, let's, I, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. I, I was with her because she had the same theory I had for the longest time with, they were also certain, Laura, they kept saying the man who killed Laura, the man who killed Laura. I was with her saying, I honestly thought she was going to be having an affair with a woman because they mm -hmm. were so clearly saying him, him, him. I was going, oh, that's too obvious. So I thought she was going to be having an affair with a woman and then it was going to turn out to be the woman. I thought it was going to be Helena for a different reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I yeah, because she had mentioned, yeah, lovers. And I was like, maybe Helena is. Uh... <laughs> I thought Helena, it was going to turn out Helena was the lover, the best friend. Mm -hmm. And, she, you know, she got angry and killed her that way. That's what mm -hmm. I was going with. So, I mean, <laughs> I thought it was going to come out that the mother was gay. I thought that was going to be one of the big reveals, but that was not the case. No, that was that was that was not the case. No. But she was right about a woman, so that's. <laughs> I was I, I was right about I was right about I was like partially right. <laughs> it was like okay, end result yes. The motive to getting there no. <laughs> oh, but your best friend, like, could you think about that? Like killing your best bludgeoning. Like it was mentioned several times, bludgeoning. Like it. Yeah, oh, you guys like him too. I get the comments pop up. Oh, because there's always the cool. delayed reaction. Yeah, I don't understand with Helena. I, I mean, I gotta get. I gotta also mention, you know, Laura. She's the friend. Laura wasn't a saint. She's having an affair with her best mm, friend's husband. True, true. That is true. Yeah. It, yeah. I mean, the, everyone's painting Laura to be so amazing, so sweet, so innocent. And I mean, yeah, she was unhappy in her marriage. You can see how it progressed. But I mean, she was still sleeping with her best friend's husband. I'm not saying she deserved to die. I'm not saying that <laughs> at all. But I mean, there was definitely a little bit more, you know, going on to that dynamic than you're led to believe at first. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, the only I think there was only two people who said something like Laura wasn't a saint. Everyone yeah. else was saying how perfect she was, how the you know patrons at the library were waiting to work with her. Oh yeah, o over <laughs> over, <laughs> over over our favorite favorite character. <laughs> oh yeah, Laura was yeah, and then Helena is completely she's just batty. She decides mm -hmm. she wants to go after <laughs> Laura's dead. I mean, but. She's like, yeah, I still want to go after Laura's husband because, you know, revenge. 
15 years later, naturally. Yeah, it's a little, little, no, maybe she thought enough time is gone. She can, uh, it's not too suspicious. I mean, how long was she waiting to go after Bryce <laughs> to make her move? I, I want to know how long. I mean, that's a very long time to, you know, build up like, hey, want to go on a date? How does that work? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I actually thought the same thing. Laura Palmer. That was what I... Ooh. Yes, I had Twin Peaks reference. That was actually in my notes. That was exactly... Yep, yeah, I actually had that in my notebook. Same wavelength. No, <laughs> yeah. She definitely she definitely killed her husband, too. Yeah. What do you think about Helena? Because he thought? was poisoned, right? Her husband died. Didn't she, they mentioned it was poison. So, oh, 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 oh that's right. That's right. Something to induce oh. a heart attack. Mm -hmm. But my yeah, goodness. She, well, I mean, she killed her best friend, so obviously she's probably going to kill her husband, too. So yeah. You're like, nobody's off limits. <laughs> no, no one's off limits for Helen. I mean, oh. I, I, again, I kind of, I thought it was her, again, for a different reason. I thought it was going to come out that they were lovers. But mm -hmm. at dinner, she had a comment when she said she's going to be playing mother. I, I mean, you, that was one of those kind of heard, heard a pin drop. Everyone at the table, mouth gaping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a really awkward moment. Among many awkward moments in the dinners, but that was pretty, that was one of the. I mean, oh. uh, this woman, and she was also drunk at their at her housewarming. <laughs> um, I I don't understand that the housewarming party hadn't even started, so the party she she, she was she was having drinks beforehand, obviously. Yeah. She's naming it what? <laughs> oh, I mean, uh. I I honestly with Helena, I didn't even know where to go with that one because I felt as if there were so many different people who were suspects, and it was so kind of not bizarre but it was really sad that the sons were suspects you know that shouldn't i mean you shouldn't have that be a suspect the kids should you know parental units you're supposed to love them yeah not, not murder them yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> i hope not <laughs> uh, but also about helena the whole end chase scene i i felt it was a little out of character i wanted her like yelling as she was being like dragged away or something i feel like since she was kind of like the she always wanted to be the center of attention <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I thought it was funny though. She's going, she's going, oh no, I was trying to help them. And, and the <laughs> was, I'm so glad the police didn't believe her. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> helping them by running them off the road. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't even want to go through that logic. But also, again, going with the whole Jared thinking they're further along in the relationship. Oh. She went out shopping with Helena and Jillian, the two girlfriends. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, she had some one-on-one -on -one time with Helena. What did I mean? Did you guys think there was anything suspicious during that time? Any red flags? Be like, yes, Helena, we need to look at you. Looking back, I was like, well, maybe she's trying to see if she can get any information from from Carrie. So, but I mean, I thought that shopping trip was just really. Okay. I mean. <laughs> What do you do with that? <laughs> this lady basically forces you to go shopping and she's just very awkward. I mean, mm -hmm. oh, Helena. At least you had Jillian and Jillian's adorable. I mean, yes, I like Jillian. I like her a lot. I'm, I'm, I, again, I know I gave you the little spoiler with, you know, the mm -hmm. opening of book two, but she was so cute. I was, I was really sad she was with Ryan. I was like, you can do so much better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she really could. I, I, although, granted, I don't think it takes a lot to be much better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, incrementally. <laughs> oh, I'll just forever, I'll ever, forever remember that scene where he's just telling that story. The first time you kind of meet him, you're like, oh. I mean, he, that, what kind of opening dinner conversation is that? You don't want to just be like, hey, Carrie, you were at the library. Tell me about that. <laughs> well, for First, he was super late, and so they just got their food, and he was like, oh, I see you guys are having fun without me. And they're like, well, yeah, we're waiting for you this whole time. But <laughs> oh. Yeah, the shopping... Okay, I'm, I'm glad someone else is going, yeah. Yes, the green and orange pillows. What? What? I mean, is she... We're supposed to think Helen is classy and upscale and well-to-do <laughs> and all these things. And green and orange pillows, what is her color palette? What is your Pinterest board dream? Like, I mean, what is this? <laughs> maybe, maybe a tasteful pop of color. <laughs> that was just, I, I'm going, okay. I'm wearing my Halloween Hocus Pocus oh, orange. I this love it. I love it. Yeah. Only 
only orange piece I own. <laughs> the, I have some green stuff, but this is the only orange. And I don't think I would pair orange with green. I'm just being honest. It, it just, it's just very Halloween-y. It's very, uh, yeah. Yes. But like, <laughs> again, very limited orange. And, and there's a reason for the orange. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, speaking of food. She, yeah, she was the only one who didn't cook anything. Maybe that was supposed to be our, you know, hint. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, that was true. Everyone else was cooking and doing things. Even Carrie, she was, you know. Okay, we got to talk about this too. We learned about every single meal and drink that they every character consumed throughout this entire book. Every, I love it. I love it. <laughs> every meal. Every single we learned about every lunch. We learned about mm -hmm. where they went to lunch. We learned about what they had as sides. I mean, she, she would tell you, "Oh, I got you know the main dish, then I got the the side, got the salad, mm -hmm. and I got this for a drink." So did we <laughs> like dessert? This? Did we like this? Did we I, not like I, this? I, I liked it. I like it made it a little more like a food kind of cozy too, because you're you're. I mean, it's not baking, but you know, it's you're still talking about food. You're still seeing everything they're eating and drinking. Like, it made me hungry most of the time. <laughs> That's what I thought. I yeah. just sort of went with it because I felt like I was reading a food cozy and the library cozy. Mm -hmm. And a para food. and a paranormal too. You had a, that also thrown in there. Yeah. Like, and you got the cat cozy. Oh my gosh, she did that. Yes, yes, yes. I was about to she, say she could, I'm like, she's got all four. She's got the cat. She's got the library. She's got the paranormal. Mm -hmm. And she's got mm -hmm. the. Uh, I was like, and she's got the food. I was like, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm, I just realized like how impressive that is. Yeah, and and effortlessly, it didn't feel like it was too overstuffed. It all kind of. Just kind of meshed well together like yeah. i mean i think it worked too because it wasn't as if she was just detailed about the food she was detailed about everything she was talking about oh she sit down you know she sat down she did this like she described everything in detail so it just went with the flow i think that mm -hmm. if she had tried to just describe the food and then oh we sat down at the restaurant and then all of a sudden it was meal descriptions i mean we learned about the build up too during after mm -hmm. so i think that worked with it yeah yeah it definitely did Oh, all the comments popping up. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, I made you hungry. <laughs> the Cozy Corner Cafe. I oh, love that. Yes. The, the name. Mm -hmm. And I also like how they kept saying it over and over again. Because even though we knew it was the Cozy Corner Cafe, she didn't just say we're going to the cafe. It's the Cozy Corner Cafe. Gonna, you, had, you, had, you had to specify. There's probably another cafe nearby. And no, no, we're going to Cozy. We're going to Cozy Corner. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you thought there was going to be some recipes at the end. Yeah, they should. Uh, yeah, yeah. That. Oh, the ants recipes. That would have been really cute for those, um, uh, the waffles, pancakes, the apple. Can we, okay, we need to talk about the aunt and uncle. Mm -hmm. She gave her the food recipes. Again, my heart melting moments. So cute. So cute. And she made them super easy to follow too because she knows Carrie is not the best cook. So it was really sweet, like a really sweet touch. Oh, and the necklace too. She gave her a necklace. For her date with I know them. I love the aunt and uncle they were so cute I just I love them those were one of those characters you just want to like, you know hug them they were so generous and sweet and I loved how much they loved her they mm -hmm. genuinely wanted her to come to dinner they genuinely wanted to do this they just loved her and wanted what was best for her and it was just it was so sweet yeah, I thought they were so, was so great they were so happy and you can tell they they probably knew that she was thinking about leaving so they were like we had to make her figure out how to stay in the town and <laughs> It was so sweet, like so sweet of them. Like we want to keep you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was. They were so sweet. I was like, oh. I just I loved everything about them. I really did because they even you know kind of stood up for her. I mean, she mm -hmm. they made it feel like home. They gave her the roots. I just I loved what they offered and how they offered it. Again, the recipes that just made my heart. I mean, again, heart melting moment because she said, "I don't have a daughter," and this is usually what mothers do with daughters. And mm -hmm. I love that they were the surrogate parents because yeah, yeah. Carrie didn't. Carrie's parents were AWOL. No, yeah, yeah. You hear briefly about them, and it's just yeah, they're the stand-in parents, um, surrogate parents. Yeah. We need to so talk sweet. about that. Though. I just saw that. I'm like, yeah, the brownie uh, recipe. Yes, the candy mm -hmm. chicken. There's so many. Yeah. We, we we need to apple. you know do a little write and be like can you include <laughs> recipes <laughs> oh the apple and walnut pancakes that's what it was yeah those mm. oh they were so sincere you love them you wanted more of them yes oh they were just adorable part of you was mad that carrie left their house because you wanted more of the aunt and uncle yes i was like just stay <laughs> I'm trying to remember. There was another book we read where everyone was living in the one house. I mean, every character. They were all living in a brownstone, I think. And I would have loved, I mean, 
again, I understand she found her cottage and that gave Aww. us Dylan. So Aww. I'm just going to go with that. But <laughs> Dylan's adorable. Um, but yeah, I was, I was hoping maybe a little do, you know, a nightly, you know, every Thursday night is family dinner night or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like stop by, you know, yeah. For, or like Sunday brunch or something, just kind of have them all hang out together. Fever runs out of time. Miss Richards, thank you. <laughs> She's got this. She's got this. Thank you. I love how, again, I'm going, all the cozies are mashing together in my head. It's always <laughs> great when you need to mention it the most, too. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I really want to, I mean, I understand she needed her own space, and I, and she ends up with the best living situation in mm-hmm. the entire world, fictional or real. I really want, I want that cottage. It's so, yeah. I mean, that I, the entire situation there was, I mean, dream, I mean, amazing. But everyone, <laughs> you were looking at Sophie's, yep, yeah, so Death by Chocolate Cheesecake, they also had a lot under one roof. But yeah, they were getting a little overwhelming. Yeah, the date, oh, have fun. <laughs> but yeah, that yeah. was really cute that they called from the other room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aww. Aww. They were, I mean, they're just so cute. But I love how there's so many notes. I'm like, there's so many different things to talk about. Again, I circled the $800. I was just baffled by that. <laughs> yeah. For basically a house. It was pretty much a house. <laughs> I mean, oh, the other one was Smokey Joe. We got to talk about Smokey Joe. Yes. Okay. I was wait. He, he came in very late, but I was really, I was happy that. Yeah. He... Yeah. He's so cute. Yeah. Oh. See, so I'm, I'm going to hold up the book. I don't know how to angle mm-hmm. this properly. So he's on the cover. Yeah. I was expecting for him to be found very quickly into this book. I was expecting the cat to be at the aunt and uncle's house when she moved in mm-hmm. or someone else. Or, yeah, or at the cottage. I mean, he was at the cottage later on. But, like, it, yeah, it took a while for him to show up. Yeah. <laughs> Can we also just talk about how you find a cat and you just keep it? You don't even put <laughs> wanted signs. You don't call nope, anybody. Nope. Nope, nope. You just keep the cat? <laughs> well, she, okay, one, she she had the dream where she was hearing the cat. So maybe she just like, this is a sign. Like, <laughs> just going to keep the cat. I it's mean, cat. yeah, I understand that you want to keep the cat. I mean, if I found a cat, I would, I would want to keep it. I mean, granted, but the problem is I'm allergic to cats. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the short cat hair. Um, yeah. Max, my dog, he's hypoallergenic. You know, he has hair. Oh. He doesn't have fur. Um, <laughs> so she doesn't even call anybody. But the part that killed me was she's she's renting the cottage, my dream cottage, mm-hmm. my dream living situation. She's keeping the cat. She didn't ask oh. the landlord. She didn't ask Dylan oh. if she could have animals. She just decided. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Unilateral decision. <laughs> And then, yeah, just kind of just he the cat Smokey Joe just happened to be the library cat too. Like that just kind of happened too. Like there was no discussion really. Uh. <laughs> Did any? Yeah, has anyone ever heard of the library cat? Because we had um, Max. We had the biblio. We had the. Um, Oh my gosh, I love how I had this like in my head all day. We had one of the series where it was they were on the bus, the the movable library. Oh, the the cat book mobile. That yes, thank you. L- and, lending lending a paw, right? Yeah. Yeah. I love how I love you guys. I love you. You're adorable. You're like thank you so much for knowing that. I mean, I was thinking about that all day about how they, they had the move like they were going on the move at the library with the cat and I, and I remember thinking, you know, that's a very close quarter you know, for mm-hmm. a cat. And I mean, you're going to get the cat here all over the place. But I have never heard about an actual f- library, non-moving, not the mobile, mm-hmm. not the bookmobile, <laughs> the actual physical library having a cat. Only in cozies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, can you pitch, I mean, I'm trying to think how many different libraries I've been to over the years. I mean, most of them are school libraries, but I can't yeah, no. picture my school library having a cat. <laughs> <laughs> but I just love that it's just accepted. They're like, well, the cat's here. The kid, the, the kids like him. Uh, well, <laughs> you just even Sally though. So I love that Sally became friends with Carrie. As the I like that cat. too. But I like it too. Even Car- even Sally, who's supposed to be this you know stickler for rules, is just going, oh yeah, sure, I'm a cat person, and just sort of walked away. <laughs> no, no question about what about people who are allergic or. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Because again, I'm allergic to cats. I just, yeah, <laughs> I was wondering about that. Like, as cute as the little 
thing might be, my eyes are going to go, you know, bloodshot, yeah. everything. <laughs> it's going to walk in, just going to hit you. Is this going <laughs> to? Well, I mean, I've, the reason why I know, I remember going to my uncle's house when I was in high school because he had cats, multiple cats. And I just remember like sitting, I had to go in the backyard because my eyes were watering. Like I couldn't breathe through my nose. It was terrible. I mean, I, I just it can't do it. So in my head, I'm wondering, OK, maybe he is a hypoallergenic cat. Can we look into this? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Just random cat. Because all we know is yeah. all we know he is the fluffy tail. We don't know what type mm -hmm. of cat he is. We just know he's a barn cat. I mean, mm -hmm. I need more information. That's why I'm wondering <laughs> if he's hypoallergenic and they're just going, oh, he's cute, he's well-behaved. Okay, we'll go with it. <laughs> I'm just, I was I was confused by that. <laughs> yeah, only in a cozy. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, Bianca's husband's allergic to cats too. I'm not the only person. <laughs> but one of my local bookstores, oh, your bookstore has a cat? Bookstore cats, okay, yeah. I'm wondering if it would be an it might have been an independently published bookstore. Like I'm trying to picture a Barnes and Noble with a cat in it. Oh yeah, not not yeah. It would have to be like a local a local store probably. Yeah. That would be cute. That would be cute. I would like that. I mean, I was just curious though, because <laughs> with this cat, it was they were just accepted it so quickly, and I mean, yeah, the cat didn't bite anybody. He's not no, scratching no. anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, been a, he's been a good cat. He's been a good cat. Yeah. I was wondering about that because don't cats usually chew things and scratch and everything else? Not. I would see him just knocking stuff off the shelves. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, jumping up onto the cases. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Smokey Joe must be amazing. Smokey Joe is such a cute name too. <laughs> she came up with that quickly. Yeah. Yeah. There was no names being thrown around. It was just Smokey Joe. That's what I'm calling him. I think that's what she said. Yeah, she just looks oh. like a Smokey Joe. And I like how it's not just Joe. It's Smokey Joe. We're not Smokey. Mm -hmm. I put the two together. Yep. I thought that was adorable. I like that. I like that. It's a cute name. <laughs> oh, your used bookstore had a cat. I like how nobody's yeah. has dogs. I'm like, I love how bookstores and libraries only can have cats, not dogs. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's you... a bookstore. Yeah. You're scared. Yes, I'd be scared of the cat getting out. I mean, I'm also always curious about how cats do get out and come back. I'm always wondering about that. I mean, especially <laughs> this little cat was in the parking lot and she was she mentioned it, but I would have been very concerned. The cat is loose in the parking lot. Mm -hmm, that, was mm -hmm. not, that sounds like the premise to a horror story for the cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, yeah, and he can go anywhere. Like, just, yeah, the car's driving back and forth. Yeah, it's a, new, mean, it's a new area for him too. Like, it's just, yeah. He, yeah, he made himself very at home very quickly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have to admit, though, I love that the little cousin, the one who can see the ghost, was going, can you bring Smokey Joe? Oh, yeah. Oh. Bonding moment. I think they bonded more over the cat than they did about seeing the ghost. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. Because, again, seeing ghosts every day is natural. <laughs> <laughs> just happens. Just happens there. The cat, <laughs> they knew where the food was. Yeah. I mean... Mm -hmm. The only person who had any issues with Do was Dorothy, and everyone didn't like Dorothy anyway. <laughs> They're just like, oh, Dorothy, whatever. Like, <laughs> I mean, at this point, they might have even just gone, yeah, okay, because Dorothy doesn't like the cat. I'm going to vote for the cat. <laughs> true. That's very true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We didn't even talk. We haven't even talked about her job at the library. I mean, she did the Halloween party. She had a lot going on. So what did you think about the actual library events? It just It seemed like there was a lot going on. A lot every single day. Like, <laughs> I was concerned that I was like, "Where people are people checking out books? Like, what's going on here?" <laughs> I was kind. I mean, oh. she mentioned they were going to be putting on. They, they were going to be adding on to the library, but my impression was that it was already a pretty big space for a library. Mm -hmm. I was already yeah. thinking, like a good size. <laughs> Another wing just for <laughs> more things. We were wishing on. the cat attacked Dorothy. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, you think Smokey Joe and Evelyn are friends? Yeah, Smokey oh. Joe, like he he knew. He knew mm -hmm. that Evelyn was there. He had a little, you know, moment of, oh, we had we, I feel cold there. That was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, you had a cat. Oh, the cat and the dog. Oh, the dog and the uh my daughter had a hairline fracture in elbow, and the specialist had a dog in the office. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. Oh, you thought the library is pretty similar to the library pre-COVID. Lots of activity. <laughs> I mean, 
this she was always on the go. There was something going on every day, multiple things a day mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. kids, adults. We had movies. We had I love the current events group. Yeah. I, I was just, again, I mentioned this off camera. I was going, they're not, are they reading a memoir? Or are they doing something current, a, a book that just came out? But they were literally just there talking about current events. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just a little, a little social group, which is cute. It's cute. Yeah. The cooking demonstrations. Yes. There was that too. Like it just, I felt like it was a library with like extra rooms just on the sides or something. Just yeah. for all this like activities going on. Cause you're not going to do that like in the middle of the library. Like. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I need to, I, I want there to be a layout or a map of the library in one of the books. Mm -hmm. I, I need to see what this library looks like. Because in my head, it just, it seems perfect. And there's just infinite room. <laughs> I mean, I also, I just, yeah. You have the attic that's hidden too. And then yeah. poss possibly, it's it possibly other areas too. Like there could be other secret little areas in the place too. Like who knows? Like She, she looked <laughs> She didn't know there was an attic. Yeah, I mean, yeah. does this thing just keep going? <laughs> I just, yeah, that, that, again, this is what I mean. I just picture this place being huge. How do you know there's an attic? Oh, you're glad, you're, oh yeah, Dorothy and the cat. That could have been bad. I didn't even mm -hmm. think of that. But you don't, you don't hurt animals in cozies. No, no. That was why no, I got no. mad with one of the other books. You don't hurt animals. Mm -hmm. Animals are no-no. You can't do yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Oh, the knitting, that would have been cute if they had a knitting and crochet club. She could have got another another cozy element in there. Maybe yeah. that would come up. <laughs> so there was someone knitting, but yeah, there wasn't a huge thing, but yeah. Yeah, she was just hanging out at the library knitting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a great place. So I would probably be there hanging out too, just. <laughs> yes, thank you. The Underground Railroad, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what she mentioned. Yeah, yeah. But that was just, again, like a throwaway line. I'm going, I need more information. <laughs> I was, I was, again, I'm waiting, going, the reader part in me, I need, I need more information. How is Evelyn the only ghost if this is the, I mean, so many mm -hmm. things going on. So many things. You were jealous of the activities. <laughs> I too, again, mm -hmm. quarantine life. Everyone's been inside, avoiding everything. And, and they have all these amazing things yeah, going on. They have, they have yoga. They have movies. They have the current events group. They had, they're going to have the cooking. They have magicians. Something else, yeah, yeah. It goes I on. mean, it goes on. <laughs> I was, I was very impressed. Even I, again, I think that this made me a little, you know, like I'm thinking about how everyone is with Halloween today, and again, yeah. my hocus pocus. You know, for me, Halloween this year is very much, pretty much mostly for me anyway, because I'm an introvert. Is just the Halloween movies. You're embracing it, mm -hmm. you know, by mm -hmm. yourself. So I was kind of going, oh, it's so sweet that they're having this, you know, Halloween parade with their costumes and they have four different categories, funniest costume, best costume. Mm -hmm. I was just, that made me feel, you know, really good going, oh, this is so sweet. It seems so fun. Mm -hmm. One of the, yeah. It's great. <laughs> I had to live through this almost. I kind of felt like I was experiencing Halloween through the book because you're not mm -hmm. going to be experiencing it this year in this way you're yeah. used to. Yeah, yeah, very, very true. Yeah, it's, it was really sweet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she just accepted the ghost. <laughs> yeah, <we're laughs> just, yeah. I mean, we have the ghost for Halloween. We also, I mean, there was. I like the Halloween elements. This oh. was a perfect book for October. She, Evelyn was dressed for Halloween too with a little witch outfit. So cute. <laughs> Again, how does she have a? How does she have a little outfit? Where? I mean, what are the costume changes? How does this work? <laughs> Yeah, what is the library budget? No, that was never mentioned. Ooh, yeah, exactly. That that all that all that she spent for all her the parties and stuff. Yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, she just handed in the receipts. There was no mm -hmm. don't spend over hundred dollars, mm -hmm. hundred dollars. There, there was no brackets. There was no mm -hmm. you know endpoint. She <laughs> just told her to go plan. Just just the receipts. That's all. Yeah. No wonder it took them so long to do the to do the things with Evelyn with the taxes. No wonder. <laughs> No, oh. that, that makes more sense now why it was so difficult because they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Did she... <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. Because it didn't seem like it, it was the small town library because everyone was learning each other. They were, you know, getting to know each other. They had the small town elements that way with the community, which I loved. But again, it didn't feel like a small town library because it was just so vast. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I mean, for all we know, maybe it's like kind of the community center too, maybe de facto kind of. But. I mean, maybe, yeah. Can we, yeah. maybe, maybe <laughs> I feel like it was 
library slash community center slash yoga slash mm -hmm. mini movie theater slash you know yeah art. they never mention a movie theater or anything so yeah it could very I mean, maybe it's just the you know the smorgasbord of everything <laughs> yeah i mean it was just it, yeah i love i mean i really i want that job i'm not gonna lie <laughs> that was an amazing job to have you it sounds like i'm get to hang out at the library I'm sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to put you off. No, no, I was cutting you up too. <laughs> it sounds it sounds like the best job to have ever. Like uh I mean you have a friendly ghost who helps you out with all the paperwork. <laughs> I mean you you do have you do have Dorothy there, but you know, eh, like I mean she had the two assistants. I thought it was really sweet how I want to say it was her name Sarah. Sarah. Yeah, Sarah like, and Trisha and Sarah. Trisha, I like Sarah. I like how Trisha grew by the I, not Trisha. Sarah she kind of grew into a character by the end of going, yeah, I like doing the creative. I like decorating like this. Whereas before they didn't really know what to do with her. Therefore she didn't like her job. So it all kind yeah. of makes sense. But I like how she kind of realized how to utilize her. And then you have Trisha who started out on a really good note, really happy with mm -hmm. Carrie. And then mm -hmm. Carrie endangered her father. Oh yes. Let's talk about that. <laughs> I've been want... dying to talk about that. Yeah. No, please, please do. I mean, you have Trisha who's like, I mean, I feel like they were kind of friends. They were friends. And she's like, hey, don't don't talk to my dad about this stuff like there. Don't don't talk to him. Like cancel that. And she's like, no, you're it's fine. Like he's it, what's going to happen. And then it happens. <laughs> I feel like could... someone should have had that shirt that's like, I told you so. <laughs> yeah. Like after her meeting with uh, Trisha's dad, like he gets beaten up. Like it's <laughs> as she he's going home. It. Like, yeah, she called it. She's like, you're terrible. This is, you brought. <laughs> You put my dad in danger. Like, it's terrible. You're terrible. <laughs> it's true, though. I mean, she it had is. justification, too. Like, that. You're that's a bad friend. If my friend told me not to do that, I would, yeah. I, I wouldn't be rubbing in my face, like, I'm going to go see your dad tomorrow or something. I mean, she was oh. the assistant, so she was the one confirming the plans. Yeah. <laughs> and even then, if you knew that you were going to be talking about something so private... Why are you meeting in public? Yeah, Go to yeah. his house. Invite him to your cottage, my dream cottage. Yeah. <laughs> you have all those rooms, all those rooms you can hang out in. And uh... <laughs> I mean, you have a guest bedroom, you have your office, like you have so many places in your cottage that I want to live in. And you go meet him at the place that people are going to be listening. That just, no. And then you kind of know that he's overactive. He doesn't really get out that much. So he's going to be loud. He's going to be excited. He's going to, yeah. Okay, this was also my note because this is where I kind of was curious about this. So we have, so she's paranoid. Carrie starts, she starts getting mm -hmm. nervous. She's she's mm -hmm. scared. So when she comes back from Thanksgiving dinner, she realizes something's, she knows something's askew, something's off. She realizes that, you know, the, the chair is a little bit different from where she left it. She sees water on the floor. She sees someone use the hand towel. And she's wondering who's in the apartment. Is she in danger? What's going on? And she just realizes that the caretaker, Jack Norris, fixed the toilet. She's she's freaking out. She's ready to call 911, and he fixed the toilet. So she's paranoid, and she's so concerned about all this stuff. And yet, she didn't take Trisha's concerns seriously. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. Very... I didn't know what to do with that. Because <laughs> on one no. hand, she's scared. On the other hand, no, no, it's going to be fine. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why he just didn't text her, too. Like, hey, I came by and fixed your toilet, too. Like, like, <laughs> it's a simple little thing. Like, he also was in there before, too. Like, he just came out of nowhere. Like, your introduction to him was like, oh, he's just randomly here in the house. Like, <laughs> Yeah, and it was really early in the morning. What, 7 a.m. or something? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't knock on the door, so I just kind of... Yeah, what was that? <laughs> she even thought she. We, we, it was one of those inner monologue moments where she's going, "Yeah, I, I wanted to tell him to just if you if I don't answer, you know, you're not going to the door, and you don't get an answer. Come back later." Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's what most people would do. <laughs> but no, this caretaker enters. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just randomly just comes in. That might be the only downfall of this cottage. A lot of people have keys to this cottage. Yeah, the maid. Uh, Dylan will the caretaker. Dylan oh, no. the caretaker. It's mm -hmm. three in addition to Carrie, so there's at least four keys floating around there with a murderer in town. So, yeah, let's live, you know, oh. isolated. <laughs> there's also the moment where she was paranoid, too, where she was driving home and the car was following him and turned out to be Dylan. But like, yeah, we're, yeah, Dylan, I mean, again, this is where he's adorable, but you're also kind of going, that's a little odd because he's in, he ends up following her and he's waiting the entire evening while she's at dinner. 
I mean, talk about a bodyguard. But yeah, mm-hmm. she's she sees the she sees the car. She's scared. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's, she's panicking. Yeah. <laughs> She's ready to call again. She wants to call nine one one, and and here's here's this woman who who's very on edge, but at the same time, oh yeah, I can totally talk to Trisha's father in public. <laughs> Rushes okay. aside, Trisha's like concern, like it's fine. I mean, I also want to say her timing is impeccable <laughs> because we have. Bryce and Helen at the mall because she just happens to see them on their date. I mean, she just happens to overhear stuff a lot. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just, I, I thought that was, I, I was so intrigued by that. It was one of those, she was act, kind of actively sleuthing, but not really. She was just really good timing some places. <laughs> oh my gosh, the comments popping up. You're going to school to be a librarian. You want to be Evelyn now? I want to be <laughs> Evelyn. I really do think that'd be such a fun job. I mean, I don't think I would have thought of cooking demonstrations. I thought that was a really cool thing to. That's really awesome. I never would have put cooking and library together. Just saying. no f- food and books, like, like messy. messy. Well, I mean, I remember. <laughs> I mentioned this off camera. You know, I remember trying to smuggle in food. You know, when I was an undergrad to the library, like they were very <laughs> against any sort of you know non-water any beverage i mean they were very on edge about things so i can't imagine there being oh yeah let's bring in the pasta dishes let's do this let's do that <laughs> so it's hard for me to picture i mean my mind wouldn't go to oh yeah cooking demonstration library i mean i was just i was surprised at the amount of food they brought in just as you know offerings during events let alone mm. creating them <laughs> dylan was the star quarterback he can tackle me <laughs> <laughs> I wrote that down, how he was the star quarterback. <laughs> that was actually one of my notes. And then he was supposed to go to college, or top-notch college. We don't find out which mm-hmm. one. And then we don't know what ended up happening. He just sort of went away for a little bit and then came back as an insurance investigator. Maybe Europe. I think that was top. Yeah, maybe Europe. But, but he was the hotshot quarterback. That was the that was the line. But I I, <laughs> I didn't write down he can, he can tackle me. He, he can be my landlord, <laughs> for sure. Definitely, I definitely. Yeah. Oh. I mean... Dylan, the key thing is going to come back to haunt her. <laughs> I like how you put haunt in quotes. <laughs> Your library has cooking demonstrations. Interesting. I, I never would have put that. I would never would have thought of that. I mean, I remember, uh, again, you know, I'm, I love books. I'm a little, you know me. We know. I'm a Harry <laughs> Potter know, person. Know yeah, you. You know I'm know <laughs> I remember they had a Harry Potter themed event for my, like my local library. I knew they would do things around, you know, bookish events, but I don't think they ever had a cooking demonstration as far as I know of, for the local yeah, library. But you just reminded me, this that just came up. She was the female Sherlock Holmes. Mic drop costume. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I think Carrie just won a special place in my heart for that. <laughs> okay, other people have them doing cooking demonstrations. Oh. I am surprised. Then we just have really bad library systems, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew, well. I knew, like, I just remember s- simple things. I, I knew about movies and other things mm-hmm. like that. But yeah, I never had yoga at my local library or anything Ooh, like that. No. I think I've seen, like, senior activities, like the, is it, is it? The chair exercises? I've seen those, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love yeah. I, I mean, I, I, you just remind me of like the water aerobics. The yeah. <laughs> you just gave me like a flash of that. <laughs> the, the gym that's right by me. Again, I haven't been going there because of quarantine life, you know, ha, mm. things are changing or changed. Um, but they used to have specifically ha- like right for seniors, like senior water aerobics, senior, they had something else in the water, but they weren't even in the real pool. They were in like the shallow pool. Like they wouldn't even yeah. put them in the real water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they do have a lot more community events. I think that's amazing. I love that. That's the one, one of the things I liked about this book. It seemed like the community was very, like, together. I, yeah. I also thought it was interesting how Sally was going, yeah, you can go represent the library. I mean, she, she needed a library representative at this mm-hmm. event. I mean, it was a memorial or, you know, sort of the service there. But she's going, yeah, we're going to go represent the library. <laughs> I thought that was cute. I mean, or sweet yeah. or thoughtful. It, yes, thoughtful, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of like how Sally and her bonded over cooking wear. <laughs> yeah, the, that place seemed amazing too. So uh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know this town is fictional, but I need 
I need this town. <laughs> you have a giant like warehouse store for all of the cooking that you ever want to do. Like it's just yeah. I mean, this town kind of seems very good. Like, seems amazing. You got the great cafe. You got other restaurants nearby. Aside from the, you know, occasional murder too. It's fine. It's okay. Just, just brush that off. Like, it's fine. Don't have an affair. Don't do anything wrong. Don't look into the affairs. Just keep your head down and go to your cooking wear. <laughs> oh, exactly. I'm like, I'm tossing all the notes aside on the floor. I'll clean them up later. Um, Oh, I, I just want to like throw this out there because I think we touched on this before, but I thought it was really interesting how she had some questions in here, but then she answered them as well. So Evelyn had been watching from the sidelines for a while. So she tells, she tells Carrie, oh, I've been watching, but I just revealed myself now because I didn't know if you were gonna stay or not, but she's been watching from the sidelines. I'm like, I have a note going, what was she, what was she watching? Like, what is she doing in the library? What did she have access to? Maybe yeah, she's just watching, waiting for the the right moment. Yeah, I mean, I was just very curious about going on with that element of well, where does she go when she disappears? Well, also, so the ending too, like her kind of. She thought she was done, but maybe there's gonna be more. Maybe like the end line. Uh, yeah, she finds yeah. out off her job. Oh yeah, we're gonna be doing this. We're gonna be doing this more often. Um, Carrie accepted that very mm -hmm. easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I would have so, I, I have questions. I'm like, I, I wouldn't have, I have questions. Who's telling her these things? <laughs> yeah. oh, it's supernatural. Like, is this God telling her to do this? Is this Chuck the, is... the writer? <laughs> exactly. Questions. <laughs> I mean, she has the infinite wardrobe and now she's mm -hmm. being told she's going to be doing more sleuthing by someone do they, else. Do they know more murders are going to happen? Like, what does she know? Apparently, <laughs> I mean, well. but the other thing is too, Evelyn, she doesn't interfere or do anything. She didn't, even, again, with the whole, she let her go snooping for the papers. She didn't tell her where the papers were. You had to go find the papers. I mean, it's enjoyment for her. I mean, she's, <laughs> what else is she gonna do? Paperwork? Uh... <laughs> I mean, on the bright side, they have all the events she can go to. She can hang out in the True. back and watch all the movies. <laughs> mm -hmm. Watch yoga, do yoga. Like, there's plenty to do. The library. Oh, so we. So this was my other. I thought that. So I kind of gave. Um, I, was, I love how like I. I've been talking about this one for an entire month. I like <laughs> blanked on the name for a second. So I loved how Allison Brooke ended up doing this. Where I, it was Jared and Jacob. So I think it was Jacob as the older brother. And I'm going, oh, she has J, like two J names. That's odd. I, I wasn't expecting that. And she mm. did this a couple of times with the names having the first letters. And then that became the thing. <laughs> you know, it was actually part of the, oh, the L name. There, there are three L's to choose from. So I kind of mm. like how she set up the premise with the writing elements. I don't know if this was an intentional thing or not, but we had the three L's. Did you, did you guys figure out the three L's well, if you thought they were the killers? I'm just curious about this because there were three different options here, which I was not expecting from sweet little innocent Laura. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, did not expect it at all. And then you had the question if it was a male or female too. Like you were like, I don't, maybe. I thought it, Helena was the ex-lover and, and Helena got mad yes. at her. Because she was, I thought that was going to happen. It was Helena, <laughs> but it wasn't the reason. Yeah, like that, that was thrown in there. And I was like, okay, maybe, maybe so. Like maybe I was looking at the wrong, other wrong people, but. Yeah. Well, see, this was the other reason why I think I thought they were lovers more so was because they didn't, they, they were so different. And mm -hmm. so they didn't seem like they would be a good combination for friends. Like there was no, they worked together at the library. They volunteered somewhere together. Like there was no visible connection for the friendship. Yeah. So I thought yeah. at least, you know, <laughs> opposites attract and all that. I, I, again, I was going down the romantic path. I, <laughs> I can't figure out why they were friends. I, I don't know either. <laughs> Oh. I mean, first of all, Helena crazy, but we're not, I mean, we're going to put that aside for a second. But yeah, how? how <laughs> and even then, they end up saying how they were best friends. They were always hanging out. And I'm, I just had so many questions of why. But I thought the, <laughs> Helena <laughs> killed her 15 years ago. And then she killed her husband 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, again, they're looking into that. But, <laughs> She kept the bracelet and the peacock yes, pin. Yes, she kept yeah. those. Like, why? Why? She didn't just keep them. She kept them in the jewelry box. Enjoy, yeah. Prominently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And then you invite people over who people you know are sleuthing. <laughs> yeah, actively sleuthing. They're not just like not they didn't stop. They're they're still actively sleuthing. <laughs> you know that they're looking into people and you know being a little bit nosy. I mean, we're gonna uh -huh. yeah. It was, <laughs> She, she went away. You, you kind of knew. You, you left her alone in your brand new house. Mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. I, it was so funny because I'm trying to remember what the TV show was. But there was, someone said something like, oh, I didn't even have time to go through the medicine cabinet. I'm going, you go through the medicine cabinet? And so, the, you know, the characters are talking like, yeah, of course I was going through the medicine cabinet. <laughs> of course I was looking around. So she invites people over and just didn't think they were going to stumble upon the missing iPad or anything else. Yeah, yeah not have a, have a safe with a minute, maybe. I was going to say, I don't have it on display. Well, um, true, true. <laughs> Just back in the closet somewhere, you know, where no one's going to maybe not look so well. She, yeah, because she kept the iPad. I mean, mm -hmm. she wiped it clean. Mm -hmm. But why didn't you just throw it away after you wiped it clean? Yeah, yeah. Why did you keep the, why did you keep the missing iPad? Just donate it or something. A couple towns <laughs> over, no one will ever know. Like, it's... <laughs> I, I mean, I will admit, this was just me, again, the whole sleuther versus the small town police force making them look incompetent i was glad that they noticed something that carrie didn't as in finding mm -hmm. the ipad because carrie didn't find the ipad mm -hmm. so i was kind of going okay local police you got the ipad i was, <laughs> I was happy for them that they found the ipad yeah usually usually they don't find anything no usually that they they notice nothing mm -hmm. oh <laughs> that's what serial killers do yeah i mean it's a little dark i mean it, the, the, it definitely had the cozy tone, but she, for, as far as killers go, she had the she could be a Netflix special type of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She, she was a sicko. <laughs> Just sicko. <laughs> How did she not get caught earlier? She was sloppy. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I know Al was drinking at the time. Al was not a perfect person. D doesn't mm -hmm. mean he deserved to die. Um, yeah. <laughs> throwing that out there. <laughs> um, but yeah, how how badly did you? But you know, how badly did that case go at the beginning? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the police didn't have a ghost snooping around. True, true. They, for we didn't know. Yeah, they don't. They could have been busy paying taxes. <laughs> they didn't have a help, help doing that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just, yeah, I thought that was interesting, though. I, I kind of also appreciated the fact that she gave the letters to the small town detective. I think his first name is John. She gave yeah. him the letters, but she kept a copy for herself. <laughs> why not <laughs> but I, I mean I was curious about this because she didn't mention making the copies I I actually wrote down in my notes as I was as this was you know as she was reading them as things were unfolding mm -hmm. I'm going I would have taken photos on my iPhone I would have emailed those photos to myself I would have then uploaded them to Dropbox my Google folder like I would have had that mm -hmm. everywhere just in case and then, and then scan them and then scan them copy them all <laughs> I mean <laughs> Seriously, though, if you're this paranoid, I would have these things archived everywhere. You yeah, have like one of, the, one of those like murder kind of boards, like solving it as you're <laughs> <laughs> like the pins. And the <laughs> I get the reason. That yeah, was yeah that's, that, that's clearly what I was thinking. <laughs> I actually, um, I've seen those shows one too many times. I was going to say one of my rewatches, I was trying to take uh, screenshots of all the murder boards. <laughs> Oh yes, <laughs> I sh I shared some of them on Twitter because I just love the murder boards. Because one of them is literally a ghost where she just drew mm -hmm. the ghost on them. She had it on the board. I'm going. Do you really think the ghost is a suspect? <laughs> Maybe you know you don't know. <laughs> you never know. I mean, here we have ghosts. Yeah, of course. Uh, but it's, it's true. Like you think about all the time that uh, that she carries Carrie. saved not doing all the paperwork. I mean. <laughs> I mean, I gotta give. I mean, I gotta give Evelyn credit. <laughs> she helped her out. <laughs> she did. She came in handy. What I love, Helena got away with. If she would have gone, and then she comes back. Just <laughs> yeah, she comes back just when they start investigating again. Yeah, if you got away with two murders, <laughs> maybe I'll <laughs> go back to the scene of the crime. Yeah, I would have been like, okay, we're good. Like. <laughs> yeah, and then she's the first one to stand up. That again, that should have been a red flag looking back at it. Yeah. Looking back retrospect. <laughs> she was the first one when he asks for for help. <laughs> um I love how like we just like go through like there's so many things here to talk about. But I was gonna say I was glad that it wasn't 
uh, Lonnie, because his name wasn't mentioned until the 70% mark. I would, I wrote down of the three L options. If it was, two, if it was, if it was two or whichever one it was, because there were two characters of the three mm -hmm. who were not mentioned until later. If it had been one of them, I was going to be very, very angry because we didn't find out about them until later in the book. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't like that. Don't like when that happens. No. No, that's when that's when you start losing me as the reader when you're going, okay, I couldn't solve this. I didn't solve it. <laughs> but I, I actually had a chance. <laughs> but True. Is there something else you wanted to talk about? Whether it's a character like something character wise, scene wise? I'm trying to think. I feel like we covered a lot of things. I know. I I am like, I think we got through all my notes. I think I feel like those are pretty much my notes too. <laughs> I mean, I was, there's just so much to this book. I, I had all the notes. I was just so into this book mm -hmm. because there were so many details. And I thought with all the different characters, I was very impressed how the minor characters had their own backstories and they were multidimensional. So they didn't sort of mesh or blur together. Because I think mm -hmm. a lot of times with the secondary characters, they just sort of become interchangeable almost. Well, and I yeah, like that happened. Especially when you have a bunch of second, yeah, a bunch of characters too. Like they, they all, they all really, all of them really stood out. They all had their own kind of story going on, and yeah, yeah. I liked, yeah, I liked how everyone kind of had their own. I was, I, we had Sally again. I, I remember their names because this sometimes <laughs> doesn't happen. I have to do my little character list if there are one too many characters where I'm going. You are all working in the same place. I don't know which one's which. But like we had Sally, we had her story. We have Trisha. We have. Um, we just it was just great. It was so well done. And then the lawyer. I thought Ken was so sweet. We talked about he him was. earlier. Yes. Yeah, he was really sweet. I loved him. I just saw that written there, but I just. Yeah, I just like the fact that every character was well written and unique, and they weren't. Yeah, sometimes when it comes to those secondary characters, you can just tell, oh, yeah, we're going to kill these off later on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're like, oh, bye. <laughs> I was trying to figure out a more eloquent way of saying that, but no, with Cozy right. Mysteries, <laughs> you can tell sometimes the authors don't really want you to like grow attached to some of them or learn too much about them because they're potentially expendable later on. Mm -hmm. And I like that we got to know all the characters. Yeah. Though I'm still I'm still pondering what Dorothy was holding over Sally. Like what was that blackmail? Like just some little 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 question, little mysteries going on. But yeah, I want to know what she was holding over her. I want. I mean, I, apparently she was blackmailing and doing things to multiple people. Mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I want to know first of all how she was finding this out. I know she's the librarian and researches. You know, librarians thing. I mean, wink wink nudge nudge librarians. <laughs> Um, I mean, she, she also found the book in the attic, <laughs> which mm -hmm. nobody else could have found. So I know she does research, but how is she finding all this stuff out? And who is she blackmailing? Like, who who are all the people on this list? <laughs> yeah, is there a list? <laughs> What's going on? I also want to know about their, her. I mean, we love cats, obviously, because she's just so miserable in her little dank, dark space. Mm -hmm. But I had <laughs> she has a husband. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone married her. Yes. <laughs> I was going to say, what's he like if she's been dark and depressing? I mean, either he's yeah. dark and depressing too, in which case that is a house you never want to visit, mm -hmm. or he's like a bright ray of sunshine and he's the total opposite. <laughs> yeah, maybe she's only this way at work and she comes home and is all like a different person. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I, we need more information about Dorothy. But, mm. oh, Ken does come back in the next books. Oh, yes. I'm hoping she doesn't kill him off. Please don't kill him off. If she ever sees this, I'm like, please, I like Alec. <laughs> please keep him. Yeah, cozies, I mean, cozies can be lacking in diversity. There's a few lists that have been made. I was working on one. I know that Esme um, Addison has one. I saw uh, Kat Sebastian shared one on her Twitter. She writes romance novels, but she was talking about cozy mysteries at one point. So they exist, but they're not always at the forefront. Mm -hmm. Got to get them to the forefront. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you just downloaded the next book for $1.99. That is awesome. Oh. Um, the entire series is actually part of the Audible. So it's in the Audible library. So if you have Audible, you have access to the entire series. So you can do the audiobook if you want. <laughs> Ken is alive. Thank you. <laughs> you keep him that way. Thanks for that update. <laughs> I mean, does anyone else have any scenes or characters or anything else? I mean, the only thing I can think of, again, this is near the very end. 
we, we already know I don't like Jared, but we know exactly <laughs> when and why. But I did feel bad for him at the very end of the book when when they they almost got killed. He almost got killed. He finds out that his, you know, he finds out about his mother's killer, that it was the best friend, and also his dad's current girlfriend is the murderer. And then he gets dumped. <laughs> Literally. He, yeah, at the, at the scene. It's, it's not even like afterward. It's like right there. Like at that moment, all those things happened to him. I mean, it is just, that is the worst five minutes of this guy's life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You gotta feel bad for him. Even if you don't like him, you're just going, oh, Jared. <laughs> yeah, I remember reading just being like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> that was harsh. Yeah. That, that was a moment. I gotta admit, I felt bad for Jared with that one. All, his world just came crashing down around yeah. him. <laughs> Oh. oh, what is your final star rating, Miss Richard wants to know? I am debating between four and five right now. I really it has it has all of the things I like. So it has, yeah, it has library, it has paranormal, it has a cat, even though the cat was very late to the game, but it was still there. <laughs> this Smokey Smokey Joe. Smokey Joe was there. <laughs> I mean, I think the only reason why I'm like, I feel as if I'm just 4.75 like I'm just doing that like little like 0.25 because I have so many questions like I wanted more but that's a good thing though so again I almost feel like saying five stars because I want more I mean if I wanted less that's the problem <laughs> no exactly yeah you have so many questions and I mean they're not huge plot things but they're little things you want to know and it'll keep you coming back to each each book in the series hopefully I mean on one hand, that's great. I think that, you know, brilliant marketing, right? <laughs> there. Like that, that is brilliant, you know, if you, for the publisher, spot on. I understand entirely. As the reader, I'm going, I need more information. <laughs> I was like, Crooked Lane, what are you doing to me? <laughs> oh, speaking of publishers, this just reminded me. Okay. I, I don't want to miss, it was the author's name. So get in your comments because every comment tonight counts as one giveaway entry. And I love how I wrote this down in Sharpie so I wouldn't forget it. And then the pages stick together and that's the issue. <laughs> so, cause Poison Pen Press, they have a new book out called Saddled with Murder by Eileen Brady and Sourcebooks. So Poison Pen Press is part of Sourcebooks. So they are giving away that book to one of our lovely book club members tonight. So every comment becomes an entry. And then I, I'm gonna say, please give me like a couple of days <laughs> to go through. <laughs> We had a lot of comments tonight. Uh, last month, again, the last couple of months, you guys are so amazing. You make my heart so happy. Like seeing how many people are commenting and participating and watching is just incredible. I'm going to happy cry later tonight. You know that's going to happen. Yes, um, yes. <laughs> I get emotional when I say my, my thank yous on Twitter and Instagram. Like I really do. Um, but it took me a while to go through them because there were so many comments. It was like the best. It wasn't a problem. I was like, this is the best thing ever. But I'm like, oh my gosh, I said I was going to do this in two days and I can't do this. <laughs> so sometime this week, I'm going to announce the winner of this book. So. Every comment becomes an entry and I will get back to you, I promise. <laughs> so be on the lookout for that reveal. I will post it on Instagram and Twitter this way in case somebody, <laughs> I love how somebody else put the 7.5. I was like, Susan, yeah. <laughs> 7.5. <laughs> um, I was just going to say, because sometimes um, it's hard for me to find because YouTube doesn't always let you click on the comments or see people's channels. And if you put in the name, sometimes you can't search it. So make sure you check the um, Instagram and Twitter, just in case you don't have, you know, I can't find you on YouTube or something. So be on the lookout for that. Just wanted to throw that out there. That, that book sounds so fun. Everyone <laughs> seems to love it. Yeah, I'm just so happy that everyone loves the books. And I'm just so grateful that everyone enjoys the books. <laughs> That's the worst thing in the world when you have a bad book and you're just going, I wanna, I wanna throw this against the wall. I don't want to my character. <laughs> That's the worst. Just angry, just angry reading, you're like, ugh. Well, especially because, especially because it's the book club. You're like, I want to mm -hmm. finish the book club read. So you can't even not finish it. <laughs> like you can't even just put it aside and be like, no, I'm done with this book. Like yeah, you can't yeah. even do that. <laughs> especially if you're hosting, you can't just yeah, Exactly, like, exactly. It's all. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those things where like, it's the school book where you're like, I can't, I, no, I can't, I can't, no. So I just love that everyone loves the books. That makes me so, I'm just so grateful. Mm -hmm. I'm glad about that because you want you want to enjoy your reads. You want to have fun talking about your books. So I love exactly. that everyone's enjoying this. And hopefully, right, I mean, right now we have Snow Way out, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be our winner because it's pretty far ahead. And we had over 100 votes again for Twitter. So Snow Way Out by Christine Huston. I, I'm going to assume that's how we say the name. 
Hussam. I'm not really sure. Um, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing. <laughs> but the Snow Globe Shop, that looks like it's going to be our November read. And I am so, I need more information about the Snow Globe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have a snow globe shop. We had the stationary shop with last pen standing. <laughs> yes. Now it's snow globe shop. This mm -hmm. book, I'm 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 intrigued. <laughs> so that looks like it's gonna be our November read. So hopefully that is another win. Just saying. I'm, you guys have like amazing taste. I don't know how y'all find the books that you put on the <laughs> your recommended list when I put out the Instagram asking for, you know your recommendations to be read list on Twitter. When I post those questions, you guys, I don't know how you find the books that you find, but it is impressive. It, it is, it is impressive. It was a tough vote this time. <laughs> there were I'm, several, I was like, I just want to vote for all of them. Just let me, just let me vote for all of them. I was going to say, what was the one? It was, I want to say, yeah, pies and prejudice. I was going, this is mm, a mm, great mm, pun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Killer then, Chardonnay, Killer Chardonnay looks fun too. Like I can't wait to read that one. <laughs> I mean, I might end up doing, um, I, I was I was thinking about this for um, January, because um, I think oh. December, we're probably going to do the buddy read for 12 days, because it falls right with the Christmas season. So we might not do, have the live stream in December. But for January, I was thinking maybe bring back some of the runner up pull. Ooh, so you know, would, give it a yeah. second in the year. Mm -hmm. I like that. I, I like that, that idea. I like that idea. <laughs> I was like, bring back some of the previous ones because obviously there was interest in them. And some of the votes were so close. We had mm. a tie at one point, which mind boggling. I was like, I that is amazing. Just so many people <laughs> voted. It was so cool. But yeah, so I might bring back some of those for the January read. So Killer Chardonnay, I might bring you back. <laughs> I, I like that idea. That's a that's a great one. Yeah. <laughs> Again, when I say you know I'm gonna do it, I'm not really stuck. <laughs> I was like, that wasn't really, that wasn't subtle. <laughs> Hell yay. Yeah. Yeah, the TBR. The TBR never ends. Oh, <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Oh, the specialty store. Oh, yay. I'm glad you guys like the idea. Yeah, I mean, I also, I'm so excited to reveal the, um, the 12 Days of Cozy's logo. It came out so cute. Ooh. I used the same designer who designed Perlock and Moriarty. So we have Christmas. We're gonna have a new, we're gonna have the Christmas logo and that's gonna be revealed November 1st with the newsletter. So make sure you sign Ooh. up for that. So you'll see that right away. Cause I will be posting the Instagram challenges for 12 Days of Cozy's. And I had the best time designing this layout. Like I really had fun with this. I got creative. <laughs> I probably spent a little bit too much time on them. Um, so I hope you guys are gonna love the, what's going on with that too. So I really wanna do you guys justice and make sure you have fun with things. I, I cannot wait now, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, you know, maybe, you know, when I say you guys get to see it November 1st in the newsletter, I'm gonna post it to, you know, Instagram and Twitter and everywhere else too. So <laughs> you won't miss it. But I always kind of think, okay, at least, you know, if you have it in your email, you won't miss it with the Twitter algorithm, oh, true, right? true. Twitter algorithm, because I mean, I have had every issue with Twitter. I mean, there was one time um, I have a few secondary accounts and it like the follower and following dropped down to zero. Like there was just a tech error. And so mm -hmm. like the next day it went back up and then some of the accounts will randomly and follow other things. So just in case, you know, one of those issues is happening, sign up for the newsletter so you don't miss anything. <laughs> Sign up. Because, fail safe. Fail safe. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 a, it's a safety bet. You know, one of those like just in case Twitter does something, or just in case Instagram decides to do that. Oh, we're gonna push things around again. Please sign up or do something to make sure you check the accounts just to make sure because I will I will be posting these things. It's coming up. I just want to give you the heads up for that. <laughs> um, and then I'll put that. I will actually share the landing page again tonight and tomorrow because the 12 Days of Cozy's landing page that I created, um, you'll get a, I was going to call it a receipt email, but like a confirmation email. And with that, you'll get three bingo boards for Cozy Mysteries. So a lot of goodness. Oh, yeah. I, so last year was the first time that I did 12 Days of um, Cozies. And I am so excited because this time around we have author chats in the evening because last time we had the reading sprints from five to eight. But now we have from not from eight to nine, we have the author chats. So lots of coziness. It's gonna be great. Yes. I, hope <laughs> I worked really hard. We have 30 plus cozy mystery authors. And there's a giveaway every day for for Twitter, Instagram, and there might be a little bit surprise for newsletter subscribers mm -hmm. because we have also have ebooks and audiobooks. So I figure if you guys with the newsletter, you'll, you guys can win something specifically if you're signed up for the newsletter. 
So all the giveaways. <laughs> I know. I love you guys are so sweet. I love seeing the comments, y'all. That makes me makes me so happy. Yeah, so I'll be giving you guys more information about that in the coming weeks. You know, I'm gonna give you a lot of information. <laughs> Good. We can I'm all, I'm speaking for everyone. Well, we cannot wait. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been planning this this December since like June. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. I wish I was, but like I'm that big of a planner. <laughs> Yeah, I really am going. <laughs> like, I really was going. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm. Re I really want to make it really good for you guys. I really am. I'm really trying. I hope it comes. I hope it works. But you guys are so sweet. I'm so. I'm so appreciative of everyone tuning in tonight. And you are amazing. You're just like the sweetest human being. Again, like virtual mm -hmm. to you. I just. Mm -hmm. I adore you. He's so sweet. I love how I'm pointing <laughs> this. I'm like, yes. It's like I did it correctly. <laughs> <And go>. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I'm all, I'm like shy now. I'm all, never mind. <laughs> it was so cute. He is adorable though. Like look at the background. He's so prepared. He had, <laughs> he's using a legit camera. He's not using a webcam. <laughs> he's ready for us. Uh, You're so sweet. Thank you That's so much. I'm, I'm just honored to be here really. Like it, I, I still feel like all starstruck. Like I'm like, I'm really here. <laughs> I'm actually talking to Angela. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. So that's me. <laughs> you can talk to me anytime you want. <laughs> oh. oh. But yeah, but I, lo I love cozy, this cozy club. Like, it's so warm, so inviting. Like, everyone just loves to oh. talk about things that I like, too. So it's like, it's like a little, I mean, it's a, like a little internet family, kind of. You know? uh, what, what was it? We came up with Cozy Crew, where your sleuthers, sleuthers unite. Cozy Crew, yeah. <laughs> I'm always like, I do that in the hashtag, like, sleuthers unite. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Oh. I, mean, yeah I, need, I need a shirt like that, sleuthers unite, like. Cozy crew. <laughs> I was gonna say another th another thing to design and add to the list. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. mean, again, again with the reveal, maybe I might have something coming with the Christmas logo reveal. Ooh. Yeah, so <laughs> maybe I'll do <laughs> when I go to. They're they're already designed. I just need to hit publish. <laughs> but like when I go to hit publish, I can go in and see if I can if Cozy Crew is available or Sleuth oh. is available and see if there's something I can do there. Cozy crew, yes. <laughs> Make make a little special shirt. I'm gonna put down my bios now. Just put cozy crew member. <laughs> Sleuth. I was gonna say Sleuthers Unite. Oh yes, thank you so much for joining us. You guys are so sweet. I'm so glad you've had fun with this. I mean, you guys do your comments like just put the biggest smile on my face. I'm just I'm so appreciative. Like you guys are amazing. I mean, again, best best cozy mystery club. I love it. Like you Sandy. are the best book club. <laughs> it's just. Uh, as I get emotional. Yeah, you guys are amazing. <laughs> because again, it is meant to be fun. And it's so amazing to see people just, you know, loving literature together, being so positive about books and enjoying something. I mean, it is, I, I just love the positivity and that it is such a positive environment. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you for doing that and being a part of this and being, you know, joining this live stream because you're taking time out of your day to listen to us talk and we're talking about cozies. This is mm -hmm. just, it's incredible. I love it. <laughs> Just, just second, second, second everything that Angela said. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't I say it better. <laughs> I adore him. I, I mean, I'm so appreciative of you joining me tonight and talking about this. And again, you said you read this book twice. Thank you for being so prepared and you know being ready with your comments. Oh. I mean, you make my like you make my job on my side easier because we can actually have a conversation about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have to, I don't have to pull you know pull answers out oh, of you. It'd, you know? be, it'd be terrible. I'd be like, oh yeah, I didn't read the book, but. Uh. <laughs> Looking the pages, <laughs> just looking down, like what was that character's name again? What was it, Carrie, or was it what was her name? <laughs> Every time you say in the city, I don't know. So. <laughs> True, that is kind of what I thought when I saw her name. I always think of the name Carrie Sex in the City. Yeah, if that is not your first immediate reaction, I don't know. Like, don't talk, don't talk to me. Yeah, don't talk to me. <laughs> you can talk to me. I'm just gonna be, I'll just be questioning what questioning, like, what do you watch? What year were you born? Because you're gonna make me feel really old. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. But you guys are so incredible. I know I'm starting to lose my voice because again, the quarantine life, I don't talk to people that much. So it's like my vocal cords are wondering why I've been using them so much tonight. <laughs> so any final thoughts, comments, queries, like now is the time to post yeah, them yeah. because otherwise I'm probably gonna have to say goodnight before my voice gives out entirely. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Oh, 
oh, this is the only time away from the kids. Oh, oh. that's so sweet. Oh, it's oh. Your, oh, the best book club. I'm going to have to go through and like take these comments and just put them on my wall because this mm -hmm. is just, you know, when you're having one of those days, you're like, oh, I can't do anything right or, oh, what's going on? These are the comments that I need. This is amazing. The best book club I've ever been in. That is that is the comment. <laughs> and this is your time out from the, like, I'm going to take these comments. You know that. So thank <laughs> you. You guys just made my life. <laughs> but this is amazing. And thank you, Ben, for, like, you are welcome anytime. And I love how you're like, I get to talk to Angel. Like, you can talk to me anytime. You can <laughs> I'm only, only right now. <laughs> oh. You were the, so you were just the sweetest. No. Oh, <laughs> oh, Stephen King. I didn't think of that. Oh, That's true. true, true. That's true. Yeah. I'll give you that one. That's true. I love how like that's like one of the comments that pops up. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys for watching tonight and joining us for this discussion. I mean, even if you don't um, have any uh, like final comments about you know the book, you, if you think about something when it comes to you know death overdue tomorrow or next week or next month, like please comment and you know tell me on Twitter, or Instagram, or come back to this video on YouTube because I will get the notification because I set that up. Um, yeah. So if you comment on one of the videos, I will see it. I made sure of that. So I mean, even if you think of something later, like please comment because this is a book club. It's meant to be enjoyed and have the book be discussed. So even if you didn't say something tonight, you think of it later. I still want to know your thoughts. So please do that. No. Oh. You guys are so sweet. Aw, yes, we have our cozy community. It's amazing. So thank you guys for watching. And I'm so appreciative of Ben and he's amazing. Like if you're not already following him across platforms, please check out his Twitter and Instagram. He is just this little bright ray of positivity and he's just a little sunshine. Oh, I, I adore him. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, he watches Murder, She Wrote and he mm -hmm. was talking about Acorn TV watching Lu Lucy Lawless. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's a good it's a good Twitter account to follow, so. <laughs> true, true, very, very true. <laughs> And, and Max has been quiet. So I'm really happy with how everything went tonight. And, you know, I hope you guys have an amazing night. I hope you, you know, if you are reading the next book in the series, I hope you love it. Christmas season is perfect timing. So I hope you guys enjoy, you know, the rest of your books. I hope the Snow Globe series ends up being, you know, the next great read, another five stars. And, mm -hmm. you know, have fun sleuthing. You just have a great night. You guys deserve nothing but the best. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Have a good night. <laughs>